A smoothest MIUI custom ROM based on MIUI 12.5 is a hair for Redmi Note 10, Redmi Note 8 users. If a user of Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 8 unfortunately does not have good performance in MIUI, but this build has better performance and smoothness, I think. The version which I'm talking about here is of course being 12.7 by Microsoft 22.2.21 beta version. Of course, a modified version for the Redmi Note 8 users. Things are almost same here. You can see the maintenance, updates channel and new cell. Everything is already available as always. All credits to the developer based on Android 11 as it is not based on MIUI 13. So it will not give you Android 12. Even in MIUI 13, Redmi Note 8 still has Android 11 of course as a port rooms. I think so. If you're able to notice one thing here, you don't have much apps available by default. I haven't installed any other apps just to show you that it does not come with many apps. A lot of blot with things have been removed and it is, I think, so a good thing about this one. The default launcher things, of course, the default updated launcher is present here. You can see this launcher animations, etc. The app board, of course, it will not give you the new widgets which you get in MIUI 13. All the MIUI 12.5 features are already present. The Chinese app board, it's based in China. It's not actually EU. EU has, I think so, not a good performance. But in this one, you have very, very good performance. It's smooth enough. You can see home screen search bar. If you want to change that, you cannot because we don't have the Google search bar, etc available and this room does not have most of the apps by default available even the weather app i had to install it manually from the google play store but it's a, i don't think so it's a bad thing it's actually a very good thing about this mini mode room Talking about the camera section, the camera section seems to be almost same. There are no major changes. If you move on to the more section, you might notice 48 megapixels, short videos, panorama, slow motion, time lapse, night mode, etc. etc. Everything is present. Also in MIUI 13 mode, you only have the MIUI 13 gallery, but in this one, you don't have that. You can get those features by installing those apps and updates manually, but by default, you don't get those. As I just mentioned, this room is great in the terms of performance. I'm not comparing it with AOSP, but in the terms of MIUI comparison, this room is blazing fast. If you go and try it out on your device, you might feel notice. Animations are super duper smooth. And of course, the credit goes to the developer. This looks good, but yes, use it on to your own. Another interesting thing which I was actually not expecting much but yes no worries about that you can see safety status let me just try out the safety net attestation check and safety status in my case having no issues you'll be able to use banking apps on a device you can use your device without root if you want to as you can see I haven't rooted my device and safety status passing by default I will not be facing any issues while using banking apps or any other app which does not support a rooted devices so it's absolutely good. The theme store what you have is of course in actually in Chinese but you can see the themes names are actually in English. This looks good. I think so. This looks good. You can apply the themes, the new interesting themes in China. You have better themes according to me, better themes than global one. If you want to go and enable and apply those, you can. It's up to you. But if you move to the my account option, themes option, don't get other themes by default, including that you have the import option available, which is absolutely helpful. Let's take a quick look at the settings. Of course, settings, it is just based on MIUI 12.5. So yes, the China features like security, new privacy protection options, and including that the battery, of course, has MIUI 12.5 enhanced features available for you, power, balance mode, and performance mode, which you get by default. All these things are included. And including that you have the memory extension feature, of course, available, which was expected. And yes, things are basically same. Last but not the least, the special features, of course, game turbo, the same kind of things which you get here where you move on to the settings option, which is basically game turbo. And even it is not updated to the game space, but a lot of things you can do manually if you want to by installing the new security app, by installing some new media player things. If you want some use useful MIUI 13 apps on your device, a lot of videos available. I made a video already on that one. Make sure to check out that if you, if you want to update these things. Very smooth MIUI room, according to my opinion, use it on your device if you want to these were the things i just wanted to let you know link is in the description i hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this i will see you in the next video until then goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 